I just seen the most crybaby, babyish, whingiest, most cringy video that I've ever seen, and it's got a ton of likes. Let's get into it. So for anyone who doesn't know, um, if I'm not going mental at professional wrestling, I'm playing GTA Online. I am actually a big fan of GTA Online. Um, I'm not going to be one of those people that pretends, oh, I like, I love it. It's amazing. Like, yes, is there aspects of it that I don't like? Absolutely. But the most sheer cringeworthy videos that I've ever seen and if it isn't for, you know, Mr. Boss, whatever the f y you all know, Mr. Boss for the win. If it's not this guy's videos, it's these videos that pretend to be essays that turn around and say, Rockstar Games is losing. Um, what's the one that we're gonna, I'm, we're never trusting Rockstar Games anymore. Rockstar killed my mother. <laughs> it is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever seen. It's these videos that are just just hyped up to be hit, hit pieces. They have no validity. They have no... They just have no substance. It's just complaining. And look, you can complain. If you don't like this video, that's totally fine, okay? If you don't like this video, that's 100% fine. If you disagree with me, that's fine. But I applaud you. I applaud you to watch the whole video. Because what I'm going to do is present something completely new. I'm going to present an argument that has not been presented by any of these other GTA YouTubers. Now, I want to say, first of all, am I a GTA YouTuber? No. Okay. However, I will mention someone that unlike this person that we're going to get into, and unlike, hey guys, Mr. Bus for the win here, GTA man, just... Type it in on YouTube, GTA man. Watch him. Most underrated YouTuber ever. Guy doesn't complain. He doesn't bitch. He doesn't, like, like, when he does complain about stuff, he does it in a funny way. It's none of this, like, oh, you. Like, it's none of that. It's funny, okay? I quite like the guy. Subscribe to him. Legend. Does really good on um, GTA update videos per week. In my opinion, the best guy for GTA Weekly Uploads. So if you are a GTA YouTuber, just subscribe to him. He's amazing, okay? Now we got that out of the way, let's talk about the video that we're talking about in question, okay? And the video we're talking about in question is, No one trusts Rockstar Games anymore. And for some stupid reason, 13,000 idiots like this video. 13,000 people. And y'all might be thinking, well, Jerry, how can we trust Rockstar Games? They killed my dog. Without wasting time, I'm going to explain why I think this video is going to, why I think it's wrong. I'm going to go through it piece by piece, and I'm going to give my argument as to why I think this video is a reason why the GTA community is so toxic as it is. All right? So let's get into it. Let's not waste any time. It shouldn't come as a surprise that players are furious with Rockstar Games right now. It's been a really rough few months. Not for Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive's income. Believe me, they're still making a killing on Grand Theft Auto Online. But it's been a rough few months for their reputation. Rockstar has always been the gold standard for video games. They've continuously pushed the boundaries of what we know games to be. Particularly when it comes to storytelling and world building. The I agree with that, absolutely. It has been a horrible few months. It's been a horrible few months for the entire world, mate. For the entire world, in case you don't know. We're in a pandemic, mate, okay? You're not gonna expect these guys to pump out everything. These guys are just off the bat from, obviously, they released uh, fucking Red Dead, right? And I understand that some people aren't happy with the updates, okay? I know some people aren't happy with the updates on GTA Online, all right? But you know why they released that? I'll tell you why it released it. Because crybaby assholes like yourself just wouldn't stop crying about it. Where's the updates? Where's the updates? They're in the middle of a pandemic, mate. Alright? It was gonna come out eventually. 
There was originally, apparently the rumours were that there's supposed to be cops and robbers. But due to, obviously, the Black Lives Matter, everything that went on, that everything happened there, they didn't release it. Okay? So, what they could have done, is that they could have waited till December, released what was going to be the heist, and then that'll be it. Alright? I'll be honest, I'll be happy with that. And the reason why I'd be happy with that, is because it's a goddamn pandemic. There's enough stuff to do in GTA Online, okay? You got the Diamond Heist, you got loads of missions. Now, I will admit, GTA Online needs to kind of sort out their little mission structures. A lot of people are kind of sick of, like, obviously the different various missions just repeating itself for, for triple money and RP. Completely understand that. But, they're literally, they're doing crates this week. Okay? They're doing the best that they can in the situation that's involved. Okay? This whole thing that, oh, like, Rockstar just, like, like these updates, man. Just, just crap. Give them a chance. I, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but there's people that just don't give people chances. Okay? I'm not saying Rockstar's perfect, man. I'm not saying about that. What I'm saying is, is that, it's been a horrible few months for everybody. We're in a pandemic. Lord mercy. They're a company that's not only provided amazing worlds for millions of people to lose themselves in, but also a company that's inspired countless upcoming game developers and content creators as well, including myself. So how did the best game developer in the world seemingly lose the trust of most, if not all of their fan base in the span of just a few short months? They didn't. That, they didn't, they didn't, they just didn't. I, what are you talking about, mate? Uh, they've lost, the, the, so the entire fan base just doesn't trust Rockstar anymore. The entire fan base. Now, I'm going to get into why he's saying this. He's wrong, by the way. Um, and I'm going to dissect, especially with the PlayStation 4, um, you know, whenever they release the PlayStation 4 footage and PlayStation 5 thing for GTA 5. I have an explanation for that. And I think I know why Rockstar are doing what they're doing. So let's get into it. But let's watch the rest of this guy's video. But this whole thing that, oh, like, everyone just doesn't, oh, sorry, I can't trust Rockstar anymore. I'm away. Bye. See you later, mate. No, that's just, that's just stupid. That's, that's just a horrible argument. And these people, these so-called GTA, uh, arc, what, what, what's the word for it? Essay people? These GTA essay people? Are just the most cringeworthy people ever. Like they feel as if they're they're David Attenborough doing a documentary. You're not David Attenborough. You're not doing documentaries. You're idiots. You're you're just outright idiots. You know how to do a bit of editing. You put a little game footage. You talk a little 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 little, little, a little certain tone on the microphone. Play a bit of fucking trap music in the background, and then that's you. And then you think that you're professional the way you're talking. It actually annoys me. These people actually just outright annoy me. Just get, ugh. Let's get in the rest of the video. Let's take a look. If you haven't been in the loop with what's going on in Grand Theft Auto Online, thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands, and I don't know, I doubt it, but who knows, maybe millions of accounts have been reset back to level one by Rockstar Games themselves. Hell yes, I support it. Yeah, that's right. You got your account wiped. Fuck you. I'm glad you got your account wiped, because you were cheating. Oh, I got caught cheating. Oh, guys. Oh, God. I got caught cheating. And my account's wiped. Yeah, because you were cheating. You were using the apartment glitch. You were using the apartment glitch. I know not to do that because I'm fucking smart, okay? A lot of the guys in my, my house crew know how to do that because they're smart. Most of the YouTubers know how to do that, because you're smart. I reckon you haven't done it either, because you're probably smart. But you know how to kind of sway the opinion of certain public of people. Because this video is just primarily for those idiots that thought, You know what? Maybe if I earn a million, two million dollars, by doing a glitch every fucking second, I'll get away with it. I might get away with it. No, you're not going to get away with it. What, what are you, what are you, mental? You're not going to get away with it. That was, I was always on the cards to happen. And for you idiots that did this, I'm happy. I'm glad. Because I'm, because see those types of people that usually done the glitch are usually the same people in their oppressor Mark II's trying to blow people up and trying to troll people. And now they're back to ground zero. I'm glad. I'm happy. 
Okay? Now, there are some people that have unfairly been banned. That's, that's facts. There has been people unfairly banned. Rockstar are now, at the moment, changing that and fixing it. Okay? But for those people that legitimately got banned for cheating the game, because, you know, if you cheat the game, there's a punishment. Simple as that. Every action has an opposite reaction. If you cheat, if you cheat, you get banned. Simple as that. In fact, I've seen people in other games get console banned. The fact that they got reset is actually a good thing in a way. They could have been completely and utterly console banned. In fact, I'm gonna go even further. I think that there's not enough change to modders. The amount of Rockstar, pro, uh, the amount of GTA Online profiles I've seen with 9999999 is ridiculous. The amount of, like, world records that... And I hope Rockstar fix this, because I actually like doing the racing. Um, the world records are like two to three or four seconds for each race. And these modders come in, they, they modify the actual race, and then there's no legitimate world record anymore. Like, could you, like the, uh, the impossibilities of these world records would have been amazing. But no, it's being ruined by these cheaters that don't do things legit. So yeah. I mean, I feel sorry for some of the people. Maybe there was someone, oh, I've got no money and stuff. Get a high screw. It's not hard. See this thing, the people, I, every time I see it on my Facebook newsfeed. Oh my god, there's no way I can make money. That, uh, look. If you have, like, a legit heist crew, if you do, if you actually have some friends on there, you can make a really a powerful lot of money. You can make a powerful lot of money. Easily. You can. Like, just do the bloody heist. You don't need to do a glitch. You just do it legit. Do the con man. Do it with, with the, the security stuff. To follow the online guides, the legit online guides. Like from from for a perfect example, it's GTA man. He put out a really good video for for um the casino heists. Follow what he's doing there. Take your time. Everyone just wants it now, 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 now. Like it's a part of the journey. I, I've been on GTA Online since 2014. Okay, it's a journey. It's not a race. All right. Moving on to the next point. Over the past couple of weeks the reason for that was a viral tiktok money glitch yeah that is uh that's the world we live in today a ridiculous number of people did this glitch and of course when potentially millions of people have hundreds of millions of dollars that they didn't earn on their grand theft auto online accounts you should expect the developer to take action i don't feel bad for people that play this game just to glitch money i mean you deserve to be banned if you do that it's in the terms and conditions that you have to agree to before you play the game but i do feel bad for the people who have played this game legit for years and then decided to do one glitch and got their entire account reset that's potentially years of good times fun and memories that you've had with friends completely gone in i don't i don't just don't do it it was told it, it was outright said don't do it oh so i just did this little one thing once but that that means i'm okay right i, I just did this one thing once that that makes it totally fine though so just because a person that does it constantly 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 how is that any different from someone who does it once Yes, I understand. I feel bad, okay? They've seen the glitch, that's it. Well, guess what? They won't do it again. They won't do it again. Oh, I'm gonna I'm just do it once. And, and I'll just take advantage of this. This was always on the cards. This was always gonna happen. GTA has... Like, people seem to think that GTA has only started doing, doing this. They've done this even since when Rockstar, when GTA Online first got released. They've done this. They've actually outright banned accounts before. So the fact that they've reset it, kind of a blasted in a way. Maybe, just maybe, people will actually realize, maybe I shouldn't do these glitches. Maybe, I should do it legit. Because you can make money even faster doing it legit. If you actually take the time with the game. 
Take your time with it. You can do it. And those that have their accounts reset, I understand you're in ground zero. For those people that done it once, I do feel kind of sorry for them. But at the same time though, what did you expect was going to happen? You're looking at these glitches. You're looking at everything that's going on. And you think to yourself, Ah, let's... Like, it's like... Like, what did you think was going to happen? This was always going to happen. I'm sorry, but... I, I, in a way, I do feel sorry for them. But the same way, it'll now tell people, Look, you do this shit, you're going to get banned. I don't understand this. World of Warcraft does this. Call of Duty does this. Many other developers does this. Why are people holding... When Call of Duty does this, they get praised for it. But when Rockstar do it, if fans are kicking and screaming, oh, I just I just wanted to earn a few million. That, that, it's even harder with other developers. They just outright cancel ban you. Even in some, in some circumstances, they even go so far as to like... Like they'll try and even get your console where it can't play any of the games. It, it does get to that point. So I'm just saying. It could have been harsher. I know. It's not. I know these people have been banned. I do feel sorry for them to a certain degree. But at the same time though. What did you expect was going to happen? In an instant. That sucks. And I feel bad for you. And we'll continue with that topic a bit later on in the video. But it's not just that. Fans have been getting increasingly upset with Rockstar Games and Take 2 for a few months now. So let's go back to where the landslide started. May 14th, 2020. This was the date that Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online became free on the Epic Games Store. I'd have to assume that most of GTA Online's revenue doesn't come from the actual purchase of the game, but rather the ongoing consistent purchases of shark cards and microtransactions. Releasing one of the best games ever made for free to a bunch of young Fortnite players who have shown that they're okay with microtransactions in a time that the Fortnite community was kind of getting upset with the game and in the middle of a pandemic when everyone is at home. Genius. Yeah. You know why they're doing it? You, you wanna... A lot of people wanna know what my take is on microtransactions. I don't like them. I don't. However, I didn't support it. I didn't support it. I actually never did online gaming before GTA Online. Never really. Never really got it. The whole microtransactions and stuff like that. Never got it. Never really bought a shark card either. I think I've only bought three and that was when I was starting off. And then I realized that I could actually earn money legitimately if I actually try hard at the game. You know, because... If you're smart, you can actually earn money in GTA Online, but people seem to don't realize that. Because, you know, they don't actually do research. So, um, a lot of people might be thinking, well, Jerry, like, who, who is to blame then? Who is to blame for these microtransactions? My old lordy, who's to blame? You are! Not the guy in the video, by the way. But you are. You supported it. You, you did, you wanted this. The, the kids wanted this. The parents allowed it. You, op you opened Pandora's box. And it happened. Whenever Pandora's box opened, you didn't protest. You gotta get those... Gotta get those... Sweet little skins. <laughs> gotta get... <laughs> gotta get them. Gotta get those sweet skins. And you didn't say no, though, did you? You didn't say no. Oh, but now you have a problem. Not now you have a problem because oh, Rockstar released GTA 5 for free, and they just want you to buy shark cards. It's a byproduct of what we've allowed. We have allowed this to happen. It's not the company's fault. The people are fucking idiots. They're just taking advantage of it. Anyone would do that. And I know that's a very harsh thing to say. I know that's not a popular thing to say here in the gaming community where everyone thinks, freedom for everyone, man. Yeah, where were all of you protesting? I think the only person that I seen protesting this was, um, what you call him, Jim, Jim fucking Sterling's son. 
And he was the only one protesting this. He was the only one that turned around and went, you know what? This is actually wrong. And y'all ignored him. Thank God for Jim fucking Sterling. He told you all this was going to happen. And you didn't listen. Y'all went, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Not men and effects. Now it's all over the place. Now, now, you, now you have a problem with it. This was always going to happen. This was inevitable. I, I loved it, the fact that everyone turned around and said about Star Wars Battlefront 2. Oh, the loot boxes, that's a problem. What's that? Overwatch is on? Yeah, I'll just purchase that, please. You had a problem with Star Wars Battlefront 2, but you continued with, like, Overwatch and Fortnite and everything else. So, so this wasn't acceptable, but this was acceptable. You dug your grave. There's that's why there's no such thing as cheats anymore. That's why there's no such thing as like cheat codes and flying car glitch. Cause you allowed this to happen. The kill cool kids allowed it to happen. Don't blame anyone but yourselves. Spitting facts, boy, spitting facts. Played Grand Theft Auto Online, you'd know that the servers aren't exactly great. And with the influx of this massive amount of players coming in at once, that meant that no one could connect to the game. Personally, I couldn't log in for almost a full week. This is legitimately the only good point he has in this video. He makes a very good point. The servers, even on console, is really, really bad. Now, from what I hear, they're going to improve this on the PlayStation 5. I'll wait and see. But I have to admit, the servers, they've got slightly better on PlayStation 4. But there's still, like, the cloud problem. I don't know. I think the game's just overloaded. I, I, I think there was a few people that mentioned that we should go back to vaults. Where there's, like, so many missions in, in the game that people just aren't using. And they could just lock that and then give the game a bit more free space. That might help the load screens a bit more. But in reality, I have to, I have to give them that. You know, I'm not gonna be completely like, oh, fuck you, man. Like, I know I've done this for a majority of the video, but he actually makes a very good point. The loading screens is a major issue. But this wasn't necessarily the main concern. The main concern is that Rockstar, instead of announcing the highly anticipated Grand Theft Auto 6, continued to milk the cash cow that is Grand Theft Auto Online and bring it to an entirely new, younger audience. That was in May. A few weeks later, it was June, and Sony announced that they'd be holding the PlayStation 5 reveal event. Now, we know that Rockstar does have some exclusivity deals with PlayStation, and there have been quiet rumors speculating for really the past few years that there was a chance Grand Theft Auto 6 could be revealed at the PS5 reveal event. Rockstar hadn't given any communication to anyone about anything for a solid four years at this point. And most people seem to think it was because something big was coming. The PS5 event rolls around and the very first thing that pops up on the screen in the entire conference is the Rockstar Games logo. Here's what happened next. Why did I move here? I what? It was the weather. What? Or the... Nah, I don't know. Thing. They're playing with us, man. Magic. They're playing with us. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Jerry, he's got you there. There's, there's no way you could have a response for this. There's no way you could have an excuse for any of this. Well, I do. I actually do. And I have a theory. I could be wrong. It's just an opinion. So, here's my breakdown of why I think GTA 6 hasn't come out yet. They haven't made it. It's... Right, now I know, I know that's kind of a cop-out, so I'm going to elaborate. Um, they're just literally, if you, if you look at it, they're just after making Red Dead Redemption, okay? Which took them, I believe, eight years, okay? All in, Red Dead, obviously they were doing GTA Online, and they were trying to make Red Dead something, alright? Now, Take-Two Interactive were like, uh, what's going on with GTA 6? 
Come on, hurry up. I have a theory. I believe that they were halfway making the game. Then PlayStation came out and said, by the way, guys, the PlayStation 5, it's actually a thing. And they were given one year's notice of this. All gaming developers were given one year's notice on the next generation consoles. Now, some gaming developers knew this, some didn't. I believe Rockstar may have had a fair idea on this. Now, they had a, they had a few choices. Either they make this game, release it on PlayStation 4. It will not be the glory child of what they think it's going to be. Because the PlayStation 4 was quite limited. Or they wait... Until GTA 5, until G G bleh, until PlayStation 5, they wait till it comes out, they wait and see, okay, what can we do with this? Oh shit, we can make GTA 6 even bigger. We can make it even better. We might even add multiple maps. We might make the graphics even better. So what's the alternative? They release... A game that might not be the finished product that they might on PlayStation 4. And then re-release it again on PlayStation 5. Because people would still complain anyway. Or, to keep everybody happy, they put GTA 5 for PlayStation 5. They do it online. People wait a year or two. And then GTA 6 comes out. And it's the glory child that everyone wants. So what, what, what is the alternative? Have a half-done product on PlayStation 4? Or have a massive, massive, massive game on PlayStation 5 with better hardware, better storage, and more accessibility? What would you do? What would you do? Would you, would you just say, oh yeah, I'll just re-release GTA 6. It might get the worst reviews ever. Because it's not up to par with the PlayStation 4. Because you have to understand, when GTA comes out, it's a higher standard. as what this guy said before. It's a higher standard. So you either hire your standards and put it on a hardware that you know that you can do more with. Or are you going to do a little shitty thing and release it for PlayStation 4? Or are you going to have what you had developed for the PlayStation 4? And then try and pan it off for PlayStation 5. Decisions, decisions. I think they made the right decision. Look, did I think that the announcement, could they have done better? Yeah. Could they have just turned around and said, by the way guys, play the GTA 5's coming out, okay? And they could have turned around and said, GTA 6 is on its way, it's going to take some time. I agree with that philosophy. But this whole thing where people are like, Ugh, GTA 6, <laughs> when's it coming out, man? It's been so long, man. It's like, what's going Like, stop being a bunch of whiny little girls. You absolute bunch of goddamn women. Stop crying. God's sake. These people just crying and whinging and bitching. And by the way, it's not just a game. I have to deal with this on a regular basis on the wrestling aspect of things. Believe me, they're actually way worse. See all you gamers out there. Believe me, you're a lot more luckier. At least you're not dealing with the wrestling community that I have to deal with. They're a bunch of absolute idiots. Like, they'll cry over anything. But, like, you're just, just crying and witching and... and what? Where's GTA 6? It's not... It's nowhere near developed. I actually think it's going to take a year, two, three, maybe four. Who knows, maybe five to come out. I'm being serious. I don't think that they're nowhere near developing this game. I generally don't. And if they released it, let's just say hypothetically they released it at Christmas, it's not going to be the best thing in the world. It's not going to be amazing. But if they wait, see what they can do with the PlayStation 5 hardware and the Xbox software, maybe, just maybe, it might be better than their expectations. Also, just out of interest, why do you seem to think that GTA Online is going to be exclusive to GTA 6 when it comes out? Have you ever considered that maybe they might make GTA Online its own thing? A multi-platform thing? The possibility that that might be... There's a possibility. God damn it, I'm talking so much the camera's going fucking rigid. Jesus Christ.
per year to Grand Theft Auto Online when other game developers have shown that they can change their map, they can add new content to their games every single month. The entire community thought, okay, no communication, very minimal updates to their main money-making game right now. There's got to be a reason for it. It's got to be because Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to get announced soon. And when they announced that they were re-releasing the same game on the third generation of consoles, meaning that Grand Theft Auto 6 most likely wouldn't be released till about 2023 at the earliest. So many people had to just ask themselves, what is Rockstar Games doing over there? And They're putting the game on a better system. The Xbox and the PlayStation. The two new consoles. That's why there's a delay. They want to make it even bigger than ever. That's why there's a delay. That's why GTA Online's coming out. I can't believe no one's talked about this. No one. No one has made this suggestion that I've seen. Maybe there has been people, but I just haven't seen it. Like... See these like hit pieces that I'm seeing a lot and it's like why does this movie suck and it's like with all this like fucking jazzy music in the background and like guys so terrible man like what's going on man it's just like let me just kick it with you let me just talk like just stop this crap it's why YouTube is a cesspool of crap it's just horrible now it's people just crying stop crying get over yourselves I'm not going to talk about the point about PlayStation 5 anymore. Moving on. August rolls around and we get our hands on the first part of this GTA Online update. And while no one's expectations were really high, we knew this was sort of just a taster for the DLC that's coming at the end of the year. When we logged in, we were met with a dozen new vehicles, a treasure hunt that's going to unlock an alien costume, and a handful of missions for the super yachts which are the most expensive item in the game and those missions well they only paid out around twenty thousand dollars per completion which if you haven't played grand theft auto online recently makes it one of the most pointless activities in the game don't get me wrong i'm never going to complain about getting new content in the game but at the same time we waited seven months for any bit of communication any indication that rockstar games even cares about their community and we finally get some content in the game only to find out that it's about enough content to keep you entertained for maybe five hours max. Oh, stop your goddamn crying, would you? Right, let's talk about this. So the summer update happened. You got a few vehicles. You got bannies, which is pretty good. Me and Greasy were on there last night doing whole modifications and stuff. And yeah, is it as big as probably previous DLCs? No, it's not. But we're in the middle of a pandemic, mate. Okay? I actually do believe that this Cops and Robbers DLC was coming out. That was originally going to be the one that was going to come out in the summer. But then you all know about the protests. All the protests happened. Blah, blah, blah. And because of these protests... That's why it's not coming out in the summer. I believe that there is indeed a separate um, heist. So I believe... My again, I could be completely wrong... I believe that the uh, the actual summer update was just kind of collectibles that they had on the side. They panicked because all of you people were whining and bitching. They put it together. They give you something. They give you communication. Like, oh, like all they did was communicate in the vlog. Like, and I know I skipped one uh, uh, another part there. It was just pretty much him talking about the vlog. It was just exactly what he talked about before. But it was just like, oh, they, they communicated with the vlog and stuff and... They've always communicated in vlogs. I don't, like... What do you want? You want you want the CEO to do a video for you? Oh, okay, God. Like, listen, I'm really sorry, guys. Like, I know that you're crying that... It's, it's, stop whining and crying. Like, Jesus Christ. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna get so much goddamn hit for this. It's gonna be unbelievable. But anyway. Um. Like, look. Do, do I honestly think that th there isn't enough in this? No. But we're in the middle of a pandemic, mate. There's only so much they can do. I do believe that the, the actual Cops and Robbers DLC was going to come out. They obviously can't release that because of the... Um, like, I know Rockstar's controversial, but they're not controversial that's going on now. Okay? There's no way they can release that now. I do believe 
that whenever de December comes, we will see the biggest expansion ever. And I do believe that it will be a heist. And I actually am looking forward to it. I would rather them take their time for a decent DLC than just like, like, look, I get it, mate. You're angry with them. Grr. I get it. But bitching and crying isn't going to solve anything. Okay? Look, everyone's been affected by this whole thing. Everybody. Gaming aspects, sporting events, everyone. Okay? Look, do, just do you honestly think Rockstar want to just piss you all off? No, they don't. And I know I sound like a Rockstar fanboy. I get that. I'm usually unbiased. But I just see this video and it just completely enraged me. It just enraged me. Because it was just... And, and I'm not just saying that this guy is the sole blame, by the way. It's him and a few others just crying about a, a, about a game in the middle of a pandemic and and when they finally communicate with you you still complain and also what's this talk about oh there isn't enough to do in the game there's weekly updates they have like crates right now that you can do you can do the crates there was like triple rp and double and triple money on the the, the formula one races they have certain updates on for you every week just do that. Like, try something different. That's what I do. That's why I enjoy the game. I enjoy the weekly updates. Just, just the heads up. Like, if you don't like it, cool. No problem. I'm not going to be one of those cringy people that say, if you don't like it, don't play it. I'm not going to be like one of those people because I hate those types of people. But I'm just saying, mate, bear in mind. Bear in mind that... With everything that's going on, they can only do so much, okay? I've talked about GTA 6, I've talked about all that, I think he makes a final point and then we're gonna end the video there. Dota on TikTok is really strange, I'm gonna be honest. It's full of fake money glitches going around, people trying to get clout by promoting fake glitches. But one of these glitches happened to be real. It went viral, okay? Over half a million likes. And of course, a lot of YouTubers caught wind of it and uploaded videos on how to do it as well. Within days, you've got hundreds of thousands of people that have done this glitch, which as you'd expect, sends Grand Theft Auto Online into complete chaos. You expect Rockstar Games to take action, and yeah, they absolutely did. Anyone who did the glitch, even if you did it once, had their account reset back to level 1, all of their money wiped, everything they own, gone. And like I said at the start of the video, if you play this game just to glitch, I really don't have that much sympathy for you. But a lot of people that got banned maybe only did this glitch once after playing the game for upwards of five years. And hundreds of my subs have told me that they never even did the glitch and their account has been wiped. I can only imagine how much it sucks to have supported this game through the downtimes over its seven year run. Even put money into the game with things like shark cards, only to have all of that hard work, all of those memories just gone, completely erased. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that Rockstar Games did the wrong thing. It's really hard to argue that. Technically, they are in the right, but they've done themselves absolutely no favors when they ban people instantly for doing something like a money glitch when Grand Theft Auto Online is notorious for being overrun with modders who give themselves as much money as they want and completely ruin the experience for anyone else that plays the game. Remove yourself from the situation emotionally, okay? Imagine you are that person who didn't even do the glitch. You've been supporting this game for years. You log on to this game every week and you play it the right way. Only to have your experience ruined by someone who has a mod menu and spends the entire night making sure that your night sucks. Then out of nowhere, your account gets completely wiped and banned while that modder continues to run free and ruin the experience for other people. Do you see why that's a problem? I'll be completely honest with you. If I was one of those people and I had to start all over again in 2020, I can't say that I would. That's about as big of a punch in the guts as you can have. That latest wipe has led to thousands of people saying that they're not going to be playing Grand Theft Auto Online anymore. And like I said, if I was one of the innocent people that got wrongly banned, I can't say I would do any different. So here we are now. We know that we're supposed to be getting the biggest update ever to Grand Theft Auto Online at the end of the year. And for that, all we can do is hope. Because if Rockstar has shown anything 
It's that that is pretty much all we're gonna get for this game for a pretty long time. And before we finish up, I just want to give my thoughts on the situation. All we want is communication. For me, Rockstar has always been a company that I sort of knew I could trust. I, I know that doesn't really make that much sense, but every game they ever made was a hit. It was, it was great. It was amazingly made. Just look at what they've released over the past couple of decades. And you look at them now, it's going to be at least 10 years between Grand Theft Auto V and Grand Theft Auto VI when historically Rockstar should be able to make like three Grand Theft Autos in that time period. On top of that, you look at a game like Fall Guys. I know they're sort of new on the scene, but the developers for that game engage with the community every single day on Twitter. Every single day, and who knows how long that game is gonna last. Purely from a consumer standpoint, knowing that the developers actually care about the community, actually keep us updated and in the loop and what's going on, it's amazing, and someone as big as Rockstar Games who has that reputation historically, I honestly just can't believe that they don't care enough to talk to us. So I'll wrap it up there, I know I sort of went on a tangent at the end there, but man, I think I'm speaking for everyone watching this video when I say that we don't want to see Rockstar's reputation tank. We play this game because we know Rockstar historically has been a good company. But anyway, I, I don't know if that's the direction they're going to continue to go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a thumbs up is always appreciated. Consider subscribing for more stuff like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Poise! This reminds me of an old saying. It reminds me of a very old saying. If you play with fire, you're gonna get burnt. Do I feel sorry for those people that just did it once and got banned? Kind of. But they knew what they were gonna do. They knew that there was a small, like, they thought that, they, some of them thought they were gonna get away with it. They thought, I'm gonna get away with it. It's not gonna affect me. It's not gonna affect me. I've just done it once. What's worse? Now, I, I know this is a complete different comparison, but let's just say you have a guy with a machine gun, right? And he fires a gun up in the air. Da -da 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 he fires a lot of bullets. And gets noise complaints. Alright? He gets taken away. Noise complaints. Let's just say you have one person that is a law-abiding citizen, follows everything, is loyal to the T. And he grabs a gun, and he just shoots it up in the air. He just fires it up in the air, and he goes, That was fun! What's that? I did a noise complaint? We're well, taking to me? I've been loyal just because I've done something once. That doesn't mean. You see what I mean? I understand that it's it's, and that's the problem, is that these YouTubers, not this guy really in particular, but these glitchers that are just getting people into trouble because these people that do the glitches have multiple accounts. The people that do it don't have multiple accounts, and I'm I'm telling you guys this. This is a public service announcement. From General Jerry. Du, 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 du. Don't. Don't. Do. Glitches. Don't do it. It's not worth it. If it's too good to be true. It's probably gonna get you in trouble. That's all I gotta say about it. Um, I'm not gonna get said anymore. Because he does talk about a few other things. But I think I've made my point. This video's gone long enough. As I said, I have nothing really personal against the guy. I just, like, he's just unfortunate that he was just the video that I seen. It's not just him. There's a few other people that are just whining and just bitching and complaining. Why don't you just, I don't know, do something where maybe if we can give some feedback. I, I, I do think that there should be a way for Rockstar to actually give good feedback to them. And I really hope that they do that because while... The one point of the guy made is of the Logan Times. I have to under I have to agree with them on that. The Logan the Logan Times is horrendous, okay. But when it comes to everything else, I have to disagree. It just sounds like just crying and crying and crying and woe is me and everything's bad and Rockstar bad. I good. You subscribe. I don't I don't like that kind of stuff. It's like 
If you're gonna go with someone, at least don't repeat what everyone else is saying. Like in this video, I was gonna use multiple videos, but everything that this guy said, word for word, everybody else said. Just saying. Just saying. Anyway, guys, this is General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out. I know this video is not going to get any views because I know my subscribers just don't like gaming for some weird reason. They don't like hearing these type. They just want wrestling. But I wanted to upload this video because it's something that I generally did get angry at. And, you know, who knows? I mean, I, the video is going to get hit anyway, but it is what it is. General Jerry on the General Jerry channel. Signing out.